Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Louis Times. Stay tuned as we bring you the top 10 news of the day. The budget session of the Assam Legislative Assembly will commence on February 5th. Governor Gulab Chand Kataria, in exercise of the powers, has summoned the budget sessions of Assam Legislative Assembly to meet at 9.30 a.m. on February 5th at the Assembly of Chamber in Dispur. Budget session for the financial year 2024-25 that will continue until February 28th will be tabled by Finance Minister Ajanta Neo. Thereby, the annual budget for the forthcoming fiscal will be presented on 12th of February. Assam could miss its place at the forthcoming Republic Day Parade in the national capital with the state's presentation on its celebrated tea industry as this year's theme has apparently failed to impress the Defence Ministry. This year, the presentation by Assam focused on the 200 years of the country's tea industry in which Assam has been a pioneer and still continues to dominate the sector by producing over half of the country's total tea yield. The Assam Tableau on Tea has its, as its centre a beautiful Jumur dance performed by the Tea Tribe community members. However, Assam is not seen making the cut, finding a place in the Red Fort exhibition. We hope that a state government intervenes immediately at the highest level. In a historic move, an all-women contingent of Delhi police will march down the Kartavya path during the 75th Republic Day Parade on 26th of January. To provide a fillip to gender equality and women empowerment, the marching contingent of Delhi police will comprise only women personnel for the first time in the history of the force. Furthermore, 80% of the participants in the marching band this year are from northeastern state. The Delhi police marching contingent has a unique distinction of participating in every Republic Day Parade ever since India became a republic on 26th of January 1950. It has been adjudged as the best marching contingent 15 times, the last being in 2021. In a shocking news for the music fraternity all across the world, Ustad Rashid Khan passed away in a private hospital while battling cancer at the age of 55. He was undergoing treatment for a prostate cancer in a hospital in Kolkata from the last month. Ustad Rashid Khan was a pioneering classical vocalist who was a recipient of the Padma Shri, the Sangeet Natak Academy Award and the Padma Bhushan for his extraordinary contribution the field of music. Belonging to the Rampur Sahaswan Gharana, Ustad Rashid Khan was the great-grandson of Inayat Hussain Khan, the founder of the Gharana. The death of Ustad Rashid Khan has surely caused a lot of shock to his admirers, yet his lifelike voice will continue to penetrate the hearts of many for years to come. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday inaugurated the 10th edition of the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit in Gandhinagar alongside several global leaders. United Arab Emirates President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan is also in attendance of the event. Prime Minister Modi embarked on his two-day visit to Gujarat yesterday in Ahmedabad, where he met with several world leaders and CEOs of big firms discussing developmental projects for Gujarat. Apart from the Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit, the Prime Minister will also inaugurate the Vibrant Gujarat Trade Show on January 10th evening. That's today. Vibrant Gujarat Summit 2024 is the 10th edition of the summit, which was envisioned under the leadership of Narendra Modi when he was the Chief Minister of the State. The Global Summit will be held from 10th of January to 12th of January and the theme of this year is Gateway to the Future. Rajnath Singh on Monday became the first Indian Defence Minister to visit the UK in 22 years. George Fernandes was the last one to visit London in January 2002. He is leading a high-level delegation to the United Kingdom with plans to discuss defence, security and industrial cooperation issues. Singh will be accompanied by Ministry of Defence delegation comprising senior officials from DRDO, Service Headquarters, Department of Defence and Department of Defence Production. During his visit, the Defence Minister will hold a bilateral meeting with his UK counterpart and Secretary of the State for Defence, Grant Sharps. Singh is also expected to call on UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and hold a meeting with the Secretary of the State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs, Mr David Cameron. India and the UK are taking steps to boost their ties. The two have also been negotiating a free trade agreement since 2022. 
French President Emmanuel Macron has named Gabriel Attal as the new Prime Minister of the country. Attal will be the youngest French Prime Minister ever and the first openly gay person to hold the office. Attal will succeed former Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne, who stepped down from her post on Monday after serving less than two years. Attal's selection as the new Prime Minister may be the start of a larger cabinet reshuffle which Macron is planning to carry out as he prepares for the last three years of his presidency. In a French system of governance, the president formulates policies while the work of minding day-to-day -day function of the government falls on the soldiers of the Prime Minister and he or she is often the first one to face the flick in case of a governance issue. While Japan is still reeling from the powerful New Year's Day earthquake, the Japan Meteorological Agency on Tuesday reported another magnitude 6.0 earthquake off central Japan, rattling the same part of the country where the powerful New Year's Day tremor and its aftershocks caused widespread destruction and killed more than 200 people. However, no tsunami warning was issued. There was no immediate update about the casualties after the recent earthquake. India's Virat Kohli, all-rounder Ravindra Jadeja, Australian captain Pat Cummins and star batter Travis Head are the four players nominated for Sir Garfield Sauber's Trophy for the ICC Men's Cricketer of the Year 2023 award by the ICC. Although India failed to win the home full cup, Kohli topped the batting chart with 765 runs, most by any batsman in a single World Cup edition, including three centuries. If Kohli wins this award, he will become the only cricketer ever to win it three times. Starring dear bowler Mohammad Shami, archers Ojas Praveen Deutale, Sheetal Devi and Aditi Gopichan Swami and wrestler Antim Pangal are among the stars who received the Arjuna Award on Tuesday at Rashtrapati Bhavan by the President of India Draupadi Murmu. The Arjuna Award, India's second highest athletic honour, is given for good performance over a period of the previous four years and for showing qualities of leadership, sportsmanship and a sense of discipline. 